It all started here, in the Simple Brick Church in Bridgeport, Connecticut. The Gospel Light Community Church worship team had simple roots, growing into the well-known musical force they are today. Along the way came division and strife, but mostly what came was fellowship, brotherly love, devotion, and unyielding love of the Lord, and of course, worship. From their humble beginnings, ministry in local venues in their Bridgeport home, from weddings, cantatas, and baptisms, they would go on incredible fame, worldwide tours, sold out arenas, and of course, worldwide recognition. It was one wild worship ride. Gospelite Community Church was founded in the early 1980s. It was immediately known as a worship would be an integral part of Gospelite experience. It was then that Pastor Jim and the Gospelite leadership took a big step. They brought a guitar. In the beginning days of contemporary Christian music, a guitar was an essential element. Soon there were drums, a bass guitar, and singers. Musicians came, went in the musical cavalcade but it would be the young members of the church who would provide the rich harvest of musicians. Having grown up singing chorus after chorus, Oh Jesus, He is the way maker, and I've got a river of life, these soon-to-be superstars knew there had to be something more. Taking lessons night and on weekends, they studied music and scripture. What arose in those days was a powerful worship experience that people still talk about today. As soon as the bootleg video, even in the early days, team through its heydays was Josh. His strong vocals and quick humor would prove to be a catalyst. Alongside Josh was Daniel, his brother, a music prodigy. Daniel's quirky arrangements and on-the-fly changes would make sure that the team never fell into a rut. Originally, the drummer's group, but soon to be discovered guitar virtuoso, Mike, was provided the steadying influence the younger players needed. A one-man rhythm section, Eliana, was equally comfortable playing bass and drums, while Justin would make art of the keyboard. When Eliana moved behind the drums and a bass player was needed, Danny would fit the bill, providing a thundering foundation for the music. After several distant percussions, the group was finally joined by Lonnie, who would make bring the group's distinctive flourish. With all the musicians' lineup set, a search would undertake for singers to accompany Josh. After an, an international search, Mariah, Esther, Sally, and Laura would become affectionately known as the Joshuettes. Things were going well for the group. Playing from New England to Belize, they were quickly recognized for their distinctive sound. Night after night, to sold-out houses, they played on never failing to be at their home church on Sunday. They still hold a record for consecutive Sunday services playing the song, You Are Good. Oh,